Welcome everybody, I'm Lizzie Brooks and this is Where Muscle Meets Mindful. Today is out of the box yoga. So some of the stuff that we do will be non-traditional yoga stuff and we'll kind of play around with it a little bit. Please be extremely casual about it. Um, don't worry if it doesn't um, work out or if you fall out of things or whatever. We're all in it together. So join me at the top of your mat, please. Come on up. Let's just do a little centering here. Feel yourself rooted down. Bring your hands to your heart. Unlock the joints. So I have a tendency to hyperextend my knees. Unlock the joints. Take a full breath in. Take a big sigh out. Set your intention for this practice. And maybe if you're like me, your intention might be to let go a little bit, to enjoy a little bit more, and to get out of our bubble. Inhale, let's all reach up. Exhale, fold, maybe bend the knees a lot. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Hands come down or fingertips down. Bend your knees, take your belly onto your thighs, but lift your organs towards your spine. And then let your non-dominant leg lead. So the foot that normally doesn't step first gets to go first, create a lunge. Straighten up your front leg a little bit. Exhale, come on down. Do that again, inhale. Let's just get some length and some space and come down. Now shift your weight into that front foot a little bit more. Lift your pelvis, step forward again. Belly is on the thighs, organs are lifted. Chair pose, breathe here. Make sure you're not collapsed in that lumbar spine. Inhale up, open if you want. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale for your fold, maybe bend the knees. Now everyone bend the knees, draw your organs towards your spine, fingertips down, and then your dominant leg, the leg that normally steps first, goes ahead and it gets its chance. Inhale, lengthen, get longer. Exhale, back into the lunge. One more time, inhale and exhale. Shift your weight more forward, step into that bent knee position, shift it into chair pose, reach the arms back, coil the shoulder blades onto the back, press your hands a little bit up and down behind you, opening through the chest, working the shoulders and the triceps. One more time, press, and then inhale, sweep the arms forward and up, exhale, open, expand your heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart, chair pose. Shift your weight over into your left foot, step your right leg back. From here, we'll find our lunge. If you need to go a little wider, a little closer, set that up. <clears throat> Lean forward, create a nice line of energy from your back inner arch all the way through the crown of the head. Breathe here. We're working big time in that front hip. Make sure again that your organs are drawing back towards your spine. And then we'll reach the arms back like we did in our chair. Coil back and then take a few presses. Make sure your breath is right there with you. Two, one. Keep the arms back this time. Shift forward, create your chair pose. Nice, now lean forward and take the hips roughly a little bit higher or the same height as the knees and maybe let your thumbs touch or come close to touching behind you. That might be too much, so from here you can keep the arms separated. Go ahead and separate, arms almost come down but then you press all the way up. We'll go back into the heart opener, elbows out to the sides. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. So again, we're not overdoing it in the hamstrings here. You might bend the knees. <clears throat> and then from here, bend the knees. Take the chest forward. Reach the arms back. And this time, lift the heels. If that is working for you, lift a little bit higher with the heels and take the rib cage off of the thighs. Breathing here without pulsing the arms. Inhale. Exhale, lower the heels, almost lower the fingertips, press up, working the legs on those transitions, and exhale, open the heart. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Round the spine as you interlace the fingers. Open the back of the body and maybe a little side to side before we come into that next high lunge. Inhale, come all the way up. If the bind works in the shoulders, breathe here. If not, separate the arms. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way down. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, fold. Fingertips come down. And from here, we'll go ahead and create your high lunge for the opposite side. So from here, stepping it back. And as you're ready, rising up. If your feet didn't go the distance apart you need them to be, go ahead and separate them a little further. And then we'll sweep the arms back and lean forward. Shoulder blades are creating that little baby cobra in the upper back. Back leg is active here. And then really working that front leg. So that hip, because we're leaning forward, is having to stabilize us differently. <laughs> you feel the work? I know I do. And then we'll step forward, but we're gonna keep the arms back, create that chair pose. Maybe let the thumbs touch. Oh, where are my thumbs? There they are! And then lengthen the arms. Woo, it's a lot of work here. Separate the hands, almost touch down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart, chair pose. From here, step your non-dominant leg back into a lunge and then shift and turn towards me. So you're in a wider legged position, but not so wide that you feel like the structure is taken out from uh, underneath you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold any amount. Maybe it's a half fold, maybe it's a little bit more. Inhale, rise halfway up and exhale. Fold, swish and sway a little side to side. And if you want, like I really want to, I can feel it in my hips that I want to. I wanna bend my knees a little side to side. So I'm getting a lot less um, kind of linear and a lot less just straight lines and angles and more into the flow. And then from here, you might not have done this before and I'll scoot back a little bit so I can try to show you. You're gonna take your right hand forward and your left arm way back. So the palms are down and they walk away from each other and root. Then take a full breath in through the lungs and out. That'll help open the shoulders. And then switch sides, other hand forward, right hand back, deep breath in and out. Hands underneath the shoulders. Lift your heels really, really high up. Open through the front of the ankles. Open the toes here and then set the heels back down. Take your hands a little wider than shoulder distance apart. Spread the fingers gently wide. Lift your heels, this time come higher up. Draw your organs towards your spine. Come to your tiptoes, almost like you were just gonna float up into a handstand, but don't do that unless you wanna do that, but I'm not doing that. One more time, lift up, tip, tip, top, take the pelvis high, now begin to bend and straighten the knees, bend and straighten, and then you'll hop in to a squat with the knees together, inner thighs together as you're ready. Take the shoulders past the wrists, and as you're ready, hop to center. All right, so here we are, heels are lifted, knees are lifted, fingertips are down. If you feel okay here, see if you can rise up and place the hands onto the thighs. Breathing here. So I told you this was out of the box. <laughs> if it feels awkward and weird to do this sequence, it's because you're very apt. It is awkward and weird. Maybe reach the arms up. Breathing here, hugging towards the midline. And exhale, float the arms down. Heels come down as the hips come up. And we're gonna come back into it. Bend the knees, heels lift. Exhale, fold, opening those hamstrings. Twice more into the squat and into the fold. Last one, take it into the squat. And before we come into that next fold, we're gonna have an option here to balance. So 
If you want, we're going to have an option for an extended leg balance. Now you can put the fingertips down, walk your right foot more to the midline of your body and reach one foot forward. If that's working, maybe plug that femur head into the pelvis and bring the hands to the heart. It's not easy. Fingertips down, bring it back. Walk the left foot more towards the midline underneath you. Now I could just, you could just put your foot, I'll show you here, you can just put your heel down and come here or reach the leg forward, I'm hitting stuff behind me, reach the leg forward and come up for the balance. Breathing here, plug that femur head into the pelvis, this is hard work, and then bring it back. Fingers down, here's where we go back into the fold. Use what you did before to hop wide. Make sure you have bent knees for shock absorption as you come out. So you're gonna lift your heels high, bend and lift, bend and lift. Hands are wider than shoulder distance apart. Take the shoulders a little past the wrist, pelvis up. And as you're ready, hopping out to the side. And then from here, we'll walk over to one ankle and fold in, breathing. Keep hold of that ankle. So if you're on your left ankle like I am, I'm going to hold that ankle with my right hand, bring my left hand to my waist, grow really long in the spine away from the leg, and then twist any amount up, maybe lifting my top arm. If I want to come closer to the leg, I'm going to bend my lower elbow. If I want to stay a little further away for that sensation, I will stay further away. It's your choice. Inhale is here. Exhale, let's walk all the way through and to the other side. My left hand comes to my right ankle. You can also be higher up on the leg, by the way. Right hand to the waist, grow long. And then twist. Only lift that top arm if the shoulder says, yes, please. Breathing here, reestablish the weight across your feet so you're not just anchoring the heels. Inhale and exhale, come on down. Heel toe in a little bit, create your malasana, your squat pose. If you are, so in our previous squat, our inner thighs were together. This time our knees are wider and the knees and toes point in the same direction. All right, so if this is too much, you can sit on blocks or you can roll a blanket under your heels. Inhale. Let's take a big sigh out. All right, soften out through that neck. Let that low back release. Let the glutes relax a little bit more. And then as you're ready, option for your crow or crane pose. So I'll show you from the side, and I, this um, will have less instruction than my arm balance tutorial, so if this is harder, pause it, go to the tutorial, watch that, and then come on back to me. Hands come down wider than shoulder distance apart. Hips lift high, so we did this high up on the toes before. Utilize that skill. Make an X shape at the top of your upper arms. Then there's a big weight shift forward so my shoulders come past my wrists. And then I'm gonna touch my toes together and try to take my heels towards my sitting bones. I might straighten my arms if I'm creating crane. I'll be elbows bent if it's crow. And then come back into your full malasana. Breathe here. If you're not facing the long way on your mat, go ahead and turn that way. Then from here, we'll walk forward into plank pose. Breathing here, and then separate your feet as wide as your mat. Make sure you're stable and steady in the core. Reach your left arm forward to the side and alongside of your leg. Breathe here, put that hand down. Right arm forward to the side, back to the leg, and down. All right, press back with your feet this wide and shift your hips slowly side to side. So a wider footed downward dog, opening those hamstrings and then turn your heels in like almost like a plie, but the heels are not touching. Press your heart through your arms more than you normally would in a classic downward dog and we'll get that stretch to the IT bands and the outer glutes. Deep breath in, big sigh out. Go to your classic downward dog. Round your spine, round, 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 all the way into plank pose, breathing in plank. And then from here, 
take your right hand onto your heart. If feet this close together is too much, go back into a wide stance and right hand down. Left hand to your heart and down. Right knee to the right elbow and back. Left knee to the left elbow and back. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees like you're almost going to put them down. Then shift your weight forward. Come all the way up and back. Bend your knees, shift forward, up and back. So you're creating this semi-circular movement. You can bend the elbows or keep it straight as you start to turn through. This is really gonna kick up the heart rate, the breathing, and the effort. Stay with it, and then can you reverse? Come forward, press up and back. Forward plank, elbows can bend or stay straight, up and back. Turning the other direction, so we're out of the box, we're fluid here. Two more around, stay with it, you're stronger than you think you are, connect with that breathing. And then downward dog, right foot reaches out and back. Step it through into a right side low lunge. Lower your back knee. Bring your hands to your right thigh. Rise up any amount. If you need a blanket or a towel under that back knee, place it. Reach your left arm up. So you're getting really nice and long through the left side laterally. Take your torso a little further back. So even if you could take the pelvis way forward, take it a little bit further up and then take a lateral over to the right side. So by coming up, you'll feel the stretch a little bit differently. And then reach up, lower the left hand down. Right arm reaches back behind you. Now you can stay here or you can lift that back knee, maybe reach that top arm up. Or if you want, bend the back knee, use a strap or your hand and find the left foot. Coil the shoulders back a little bit, breathe here. This, I really feel my quads right now. <laughs> and then slowly unwind. One piece at a time, come back into your right side low lunge. Step slowly back into plank. And choose if you're skipping a vinyasa or if you would like to add one here. And maybe you do something different than you normally would. I usually don't come down to a child's pose before down dog, but hey, we're out of the box today. I'm placing one. <laughs> and then shift it out. Don't let me tell you your business. You choose what you want to do. Soften out that neck. Deep breath in, big sigh out. <sighs> Let's allow the left leg to lift. Round it in, seal it down. Lower the back knee, hands come to the left thigh. Open it up, good. So same thing, we're gonna lift now just one arm, the right arm this time. Take the torso back a little bit. Hip rises a little higher than you might be used to. And we'll take that lateral over to the side. So we really get into the psoas, the right side belly, front of the hip. Breath is number one. Breath and intention, the intention with which you're doing it. And then come all the way up. Let's lower that right hand down. <clears throat> reach back with the left. Choose to stay here or reach up or lift the back knee or option to bind. Bend the back knee, find the foot with a strap or the hand. Little bit of more opening space through the chest and breathing here. And wherever you put that back heel depends on how tight you are and what feels good, especially through the knee. So make sure you're being safe with those joints. And slowly unwind, one movement at a time, back into your low lunge, step back. And what are we gonna do here? I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Let's be, let's be, let's be super weird together. Rock forward, let's lower all the way down. Take a shalabhasana for our back bend. And then from here, like we did prior, let's do slow pulses, but this time with the arms and the legs. And if you need a blanket underneath you, take a pause and place the blanket underneath you. Three, working that posterior chain. Last one, hold. And if you wanna interlace, interlace, coil up, breathing. Think length rather than height. Two, one, 
and exhale come all the way down hands alongside of the chest tuck the toes up under either leave the knees down or for a little more work work the quads lift the knees press into plank pose downward facing dog finds you breathing and softening the neck plank pose right hand down either stagger your footing or stack your footing depending on what you want lift that top arm up if that feels okay all right so from here if you're stacked you'll have to step one off we're going to take a walk all the way <laughs> to the side so my feet are going to go out of the angle a little bit here as we walk forward and then we're gonna slowly walk back this is a lot for that lower shoulder so if that's too much just stay in the held posture or come here breathing now lower the hips almost to touch and then bring it back up and rainbow over lower almost touch rainbow up and over and one more time lower up and over reach full classic plank and then we'll do something different lower all the way down onto the floor reach your arms forward left leg and right arm lift and down left hand and right leg lift and down everything lifts and stay Ooh, i tricked you and exhale down bring your hands alongside of the chest choose the transition that works for you we'll join in downward facing dog let's pedal it out and make this all about letting go all about breath really lighthearted, really casual we're not stuck in a box in yoga or in life deep breath and out before we do the other side let's just take a child's pose roll out our wrists a little bit maybe the neck maybe you have to do a little bit of spinal movement to feel good stay exactly where you are and i'm going to switch sides so that when i walk forward i won't walk through the wall like the kool-aid man <laughs> am i dating myself uh, yeah the kool-aid man all right that has a lot to do with yoga <laughs> downward facing dog everybody come on breathing here plank pose let's create it on the left side so you get to choose starting with staggered feet or starting with stacked feet top arm might reach up breathe in here and then from here start to take your walk and you're attempting to walk kind of in front of your lower hand and then walk it back you're walking kind of like that quarter of a circle and then find yourself aligned hands to feet inhale exhale lower almost touch that hip down rainbow open side body lengthens exhale hover and over so you're letting that lower scapula actually delaminate from the back of the rib cage and lift and then over reach it up steady yourself come into your classic full plank and then we'll lower all the way down for something yet again brand new from here bring your arms back bring your feet into spread toes and then we're just going to like little guppy fish <laughs> like this is how a guppy does it on the on the national geographic show <laughs> we're gonna swim 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 wiggle 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 and then do that a little higher a little higher reach the arms and legs a little longer swim 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 inhale lift exhale come on down <sighs> take a rest so you're gonna have an option here for the final prone, which means facing down with your belly back bent. And I would recommend definitely having a blanket or a towel underneath you, something for a little softness, because you're gonna have the option to bind in that bow, which is why we're opening the, um, the spine, the hips, and the quads earlier. But if you use that, make sure that your rib cage and your pelvis are on the same level. I don't want you to be teetering forward or back. So go ahead and place that now and either come into a Sphinx, a Cobra, a Shalavasana, an Up Dog, or bend the knees behind you. 
See if you can find the ankles or the tops of the feet. This is already a pose in itself, so you don't need to do anything else unless you'd like. Shoulder blades come onto your back. Don't lead with the chin, that will make it harder. Begin to lift through the chest, taking the ankles back. You can either take the ankles long and spread the toes or press through the heels, whichever feels better. Wake up the inner thighs a little bit and lift into your bow. So some people, they feel better when their thighs are down. Some people feel better when their thighs are up. You choose breathing. Trust yourself. This is a really hard pose, really stimulating for the spine and the heart and the breath. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way down and just a slow shimmy of your hips side to side, just letting the low back know it's perfectly good to release here. And then very slowly as well, just transferring yourself into an all fours, child's or downward dog. So whichever pose neutralizes your spine the best. And you can go ahead and have your blanket ready for seated and place that after you've neutralized the spine down and come on, come on and join me. <laughs> Apparently, I have a new accent. So <laughs> here we are. Sit tall. Feel your breath inside your body. Feel any changes to the heat of your body, the sweat on your skin, the breath in your lungs. And just have a moment to be grateful and a moment of recognition that we are not stuck. We are not ever stuck. If we feel stuck, it's a, it's a momentary feeling. It's, it's a feeling, um, but it's not something we can't get out of. Lower your right fingertips down, lift the left arm, take any amount of a lateral. Bend your top elbow, open and expand, twist up. And then extend over with the arm and rotate down any amount. One more time, we'll add on by just opening here and taking that full rotation and then the full rotation down. Lift that lower hand, sweep across, lower the opposite arm and open into the side. Bend the top elbow, expansive through the chest and shoulder. And then as you extend, rotate down any amount. Then we'll add that full opening from the rotation to the top opening. Exhale, reach. Now from here, we're gonna do some sweeping and opening and sweeping and opening. If it feels better for you to walk your hands across the floor, walk your hands. The amount of opening on the top, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it, well, it, it does matter. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it matters what it feels like. So find what you need there. And one more time on the other side, opening that back, stretching it out because of all those heart openers we did. And then any amount of a fold uh, towards the front. So if you come to this fold and you're not feeling any stretch at all in the hips, then take your shins more forward and then lean in here, breathing. So you can fold to any depth that feels good. Free the neck. Be sweet with the lungs. Paint your hips with your breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Now you likely crossed your legs in the way you prefer to do it, so your dominant leg likely was forward. So let's reset that up. You might have to take the ankles closer on this one because this front hip might be tighter. Careful of the knees. Inhale and exhale any amount of a fold. So the answer is in your breath. The answer to releasing tension is in your breath. Go there. And it can also be in backing off the posture. So if you're way down here and it's too much, ease off, ease off. Don't get, don't get yourself stuck. Inhale, come all the way up and sigh out. Bring your legs open, but not to the degree that is the, you know, your max end of stretch. Have just a little lean forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. So you're going to find that wave through you 
And wherever you go, that feels like you can still breathe and you're getting a beneficial stretch, that's where you need to stay, even if it looks like this, okay? So how often do we just hang out, just like, just watching, watching the TV, just sitting like this? We don't, <laughs> so it's very odd to do. So even this is plenty, I promise. Deep breath in. If you are down, come all the way up. Use your hands and really ease the legs back together. Shake it on out. And then from here, go lengthwise on your mat and bend the knees round the spine and come all the way down. Hug the knees in, rock a little side to side. Curl up, pretend you're a seed. So what does a seed hold in it? An entire tree, an entire plant, right? So remember that we are seeds. We have lots of seeds of imagination. We can start new all the time. R unravel, come all the way down. Reach up, crack that seed open. Remember the contents inside. You are very capable. And rest. Stay here as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me for today's out of the box practice. Um, I feel like we're all we're all just jack in the box now. We have we've jumped out and emerged. I definitely don't feel as stuck as I did. Thanks for being a part of my practice today, and I hope that you will join me again soon. If you hit subscribe, I'm holding a raffle. So the next 50 subscribers are in the raffle to win an hour long private lesson with me or an hour long um, custom video. So that's just a little, little extra if you'd like. Thanks so much. Namaste everybody.